If money is evil, then that building is hell. This is the most obnoxious group of money hungry, low IQ, high energy, jack rabbit, fucking wannabe, big time, small time, shit talking, bothersome, irritating bunch of motherfuckers I have ever had to endure for more than five minutes. I was on the phone, you said it's above me now. Love me now, love me now, love me now. It's above me now, love me now, love me now, love me now. Hey folks, it's your girl Candyland and we are here with Workplace Wednesdays. We haven't had one of these in a really long time and luckily for us it's not that I'm giving one because it's a bad situation, Rihanna's, uh, I don't know how we call this retrograde, but either way, it's really just the fact that things should be looking up. You should be able to deal with the snakes accordingly, money should be coming in, if it's not there are things that are going to change just in case you're like whoa should sounds like a suggestion where is my money where is my ability to handle the snakes i'm just saying i do feel like we're going to have a good turnaround and for the folks who are already having it pretty good i it looks like it's just going to get better but let's get into it we're going to start off with aries today aries you all get your own card of the emperor and this doesn't mean that you all own it exclusively only that it really describes you the best leadership now the problem with some of you areas is like well where is my promotion to go with the leadership it is here so for some of you who are in law enforcement some of you who are in the arts this will be the time where you all can step up and lead and get more money for it on top of that instead of people just relying on you the only issue is that this is going to come for some folks um with a little bit of drama i.e. people getting fired that's none of your business just do your job leader do your job taurus you will get the five of coins so for our beloved taurians this is an uncomfortable time for you all because it is a broke time but it is a temporary broke time okay you don't have to go pick out a nice brand new cardboard box or anything things are going to look up and for those of you who are already in the cardboard box get ready for that box to become an apartment baby all right it is looking up for you all the problem is that you were going to have to in order to understand what luxury is taurus in order to understand what the good life is you all have to learn firsthand so this is why you're learning why it's not perfect right now gemini you all get the hero fan and this is more about some of you could be um in trouble at work some of you could be uh, going through something at work, uh, you know, investigations and all of that. It's okay. I know you're like, no, it's not. It's okay. I got you. Hold on to me. It's okay because this is going to lead you to a better position in your said job. So you're not going to get fired. Uh, you're just in trouble for now. And no offense, Gemini, no offense. Partly some of that is your fault. But at the very least, it's going to get better. Not a promotion, but a lot more leeway. Cancer, you all get the card of judgment. And Cancer, a lot of you all are going to be doing the firing. Now, some of you might work at very small jobs with a few people. And you're like, I'm not going to be firing anyone. You're going to be firing people this weekend. Hen. And it's something you're going to have to learn. On one hand, it's because the people who are going to get fired are always trying you. You might be small in stature, you might be quiet, um, you may be in love, or you may, you know, basically someone thinks that they have one up on you, and you're going to show them, no, the door. You have to learn to not be nice, Cancer. Leo, we get the Knight of Cups, so we're doing a little sign switching. This is a card that usually represents Pisces, and this can mean one of two things. This can mean that we need to be more serious, like a Pisces is at their job, razor sharp focus ready to do it ready to go get the money and leave we don't need friends if we have friends it's a plus but the check is what comes first darling on the flip side it could mean that we are shitting where we eat which pisces has a bad habit of their professionalism usually stops right where it comes to dating please be careful leo or at least understand what the consequences are if you fall in love at work virgo you will get the seven of cups this is about not knowing if what you're doing you still want to do. Yes, you are damn good at it. You're amazing at it. And it could be that you want to do something similar just above it. You know, if you're a nurse, maybe becoming a doctor, that type of thing. 
It's just about an evolution, not being sure if you want to stay where you are. Do you want to sing or do you want to be the producer? That's kind of where you all are at this time. Um, there's no wrong answer, Virgo, because you know you're able to do it, but it's about the time, the money, and of course the other people who work with you, who rely on you. This is something you're going to have to do for yourself. Libra, you all get the Six of Wands. This is about victory. This is about winning. This is also about seeing someone possibly fall on their face at work. Um, could be a literal thing or it could just be a mental thing where they were telling you that you had to do something a certain way now they do. Either way, Libra, I'm with you. I think you should evilly laugh when this happens. You can't help your laugh anyway. Or at the very least, write down in your journal how it was the best day of your life to witness that. People can judge, but everybody needs a little touch of petty every once in a while. Let it be. For our Scorpios, you all get the Ten of Wands. You all are working way too hard. And I feel like y'all got this same damn card for the romance reading just last week. Either way, it's saying you're investing too much. You are investing too much. You're over-investing. So either you are not acting your wage and you are allowing yourself to be used as a boss or as a, a superior without getting the proper check for it, or you're taking on other people's jobs that just because it's not getting done does not mean that you necessarily have to do it. There's a time and place for that, Scorpio. Just do what the check calls for. Uh, Sagittarius, you all get the Seven of Wands. And this is a little similar to Scorpio, but it's, it's still different. You're not over-investing. You're just not necessarily managing your time the way you need to. There's things at work, I mean at home, that need to be done. And you all are bringing work home. For some of you who work at home or it's a family business that could be very uh, difficult to separate. I honestly have no advice for that, sorry. But you're going to have to separate those things because it's going to start seeping into Ten of Wands energy. There has to be a break. There has to be some type of difference, basically. Uh, Capricorn, you all get the Ten of Swords. Oh man, all of these tens. Ten of Swords usually means that you just feel physically just done. I don't want to use the D-E-A-D -E word, but that's how you feel. Um, you're just done. You're, you're finished with all of this nonsense. It's always coming back on you. Every time something is fixed, something else breaks, you shouldn't have to fix it. Other people are making you to fix it. There's nothing more you can do than step back. Just because you're saying you can't does not mean it's, that's not true. You all have to step back. This isn't your job. You're like Scorpios. And, you know, that's not your job. You don't get paid for that. Aquarius, you all get the Eight of Cups, and this is about walking away. For some of you Aquarians, you have to retire. For some of you all, you might have to move on to a different type of job. Some of you have definitely been fired. And some of you just have to move different platforms. Maybe you do like videos or what have you, kind of like this, but it's time for you to do them on another platform or to make a new platform. That's what that's about, Aquarius. It's time to expand and look forward. For those of you just trying to get into hobbies, Think outside of the box of what you've seen. This is all about looking beyond what is. Last but never least, our Pisces, we get the Six of Swords. Almost a similar meaning to the Aquarians, except for this is more so on your term. So Pisces, it's time to go. Um, people can judge how you're going to go, where you're going to go, but you're going. So it doesn't really matter what people feel or why you are going. Um, the issue is you all keep asking other people for advice on what to do. And you, you know that people are going to shoot down your issue. So at this point, you just need to go for it for yourself. You're not going to be able to convince anyone else, Pisces. Okay, guys, so I will see you all soon. I'm on vacay for my B-Day, and then I'll be going on another vacation in August. Hopefully during that time, lives don't burn down. But if they do, don't worry because I'll see you soon. I'm not going to answer on my vacation. No, it is what it is. Bye.